Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. Before we continue with today's video, please don't forget to share it. Hit the little bell to get notified as soon as I release a new one and subscribe to the channel to get a member. Risa Studios Automobilista 2 The Beta Based on the Madness Engine Hello guys and welcome back another time here for our next session in our channel with Automobilista 2 The Beta after that we have surprisingly experienced that seemingly some kind of animated pit crew is already available in this sim. Today we want to test it out by real doing a AI race with a mandatory pit stop. And by doing so we will check out if the pit crews of all the teams are already some kind of working because they are available at least at the end of a race. I don't know if they actually are working for every team during the race itself but this is something we want to find out in this session of today. So let's jump into the single race menu and uh, for doing this we want to choose an uh, open wheeler and we will go for the Formula 3 open wheeler based on the Dallara chassis and this is a nice colored and colored scheme livery here with the dark blue and yellow stripes over there yellow and white stripes and uh, we are using today an open wheeler for this purpose because we have free viewpoint on the tires sitting in the cockpit and so we will possibly see the most part of the working mechanics when we will pit in in the race. We will choose this car as well because the other open wheeler are at this point of the beta version, at least for me, not drivable. They are lacking a lot of downforce, a lot of grip, are very unstable and for my purpose, for my needs, they are way too aggressive with the throttle coming out of corners because they tend to oversteer like crazy and I'm not able to maintain them under control in this condition. But hopefully this car is more controllable for me. It has a quite a lower torque for sure as the other alternatives open wheeler we have here in this build of this beta version here. So let's select this car. Let's go to the race settings and for the pit stop to be realized we have to set up some severe weather changes what we have done so far already. We will go from heavy cloud to the stormy rainy condition and then we will get back again to the clear weather at the end of the race. We'll do seven laps. We will go with default date as I have said in one of my previous videos. It's very important to let this as a date type by default if you want to experience the real atmospheric conditions of the selected track. So let's confirm this and let's choose a nice little racetrack and hopefully we will see some pit crew atmosphere and work on the track we will have chosen because I think the pit stop mechanics have not been implemented in every circuit we have available so far. So we have to go a little bit with uh, luck and hopefully the luck will take place on to the chosen track. Do, 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 do. Campo Grande. Okay guys, let's choose this Campo Grande track here with a lot of straights and uh, tight corners. I have not been driven on this track before until today. And as you can see, before we head to the track, I have increased a little bit the opponent's skill level just to make sure that we will have some nice battle with the AI. So we will go with this today for the opponent settings. But now guys, let's head to the track on the Autódromo Internacional de Campo Grande do Brasil with the Formula 309 of Alejandro Di Pietro, the number 6 car. Oh, and here we go. What a nice view on the starting grid we have already in uh, Campo Grande. And now let's go forward. Let's go to the race. So, ready to race here in Campo Grande. Off the line we go. Last place starter we are today again. Oh man, have you seen that? Rocket by on 
some of those rivals. And another one. So that we are up to P13 now. This will be a very tough race because it will be changing a lot concerning the weather and we will have to do a pit stop as this man is going through very harsh on us he was striking back on at least one of them and now as you can see and hear maybe the rain started to come down coming up the last corner of the lab and we are going by here on another rival the rain is getting very intense ah. Winding into this first left-hander of the second lap. And as you can see, we have already very dense spray. Coming from the tires. Oh man, we have wheel spin now. We are on the back straight away. Carefully. Down to the third. And I think it's time to call the pit crew. Ah. We're winding in here into this very tight section of the lab and the uh, conditions are very severe now at least for our tire compound so let's pit in now down to the first gear because this corner is so so tight and there we go for the pit stop and we have to be aware not to be too fast here as you can see we have all the pit crews working there we go oh. let's change those tires let's repair some stuff and then let's go again so we have been released now back on the surface with rain tires There we go, again, racing. A little bit confused there with the camera angle and the hut. Now we have our settings back that we wanted to have. Trying to concentrate us now. On the driving. Have to avoid those pitches at the inner side of this corner. Because when you're driving, over them you lose you lose your car completely immediately so you have to be aware to stay away from them ah stay on track come on Almost. 
onto the gravel trap. And back onto the main straight again. For lap number two completed. We are in ready condition now. Breaking very late the first corner of lap number three and we could go by on another rival. And you can see there has been already developed a racing line that marks the transition back to dry conditions. Very nice weather dynamics indeed here. We are coming up the back straight away once again. to let him go by I was not on the right line there but maybe we can strike back right now yes let's go there he is uh, again and the battle is not over yet for this position here and now it's over for us because as you have seen you can't drive uh, absolutely on this wet pitches there on these lakes there but uh, you can see what uh, difficulty we have to come back on the track here and I will not restart the video because this is not a video of how uh, not good I'm driving. This is a video to show up the effects of very severe weather conditions. But as you can see, the weather is turning back to dry. So, maybe we have to fit in again for the dry tires, but I'm not sure yet, because it's still very wet in some points, and now it's coming up the strategy question. Oh. We're going off again. Shall we pit in? I don't think so. Let's wait and see if the arrivals are pitting back again or not. So we're coming up again onto the start finish line for the penultimum lap of the race and now we are going again on the gravel trap very nice driving style here One of those AI contenders will be making a mistake. 
such as we have done or not. Seems never to end this tight right hander. So coming up again, the last corners of the lab. And it seems that nobody has pitted again back to get the dry compound tires on again. So be aware of those inner side lakes there, don't go over them. Because when you do it, you are out. So stay a little bit more at the center when you see them. Coming up again for the last time of this race onto the back straight away there we come up the last section and we will be ending the race in a few moments. There we go. Over the line and we end it up again as last. But uh, as I said at the beginning, I'm doing these videos to show up something and it's not concerning my driving capabilities for sure so I wanna show up more the effects of the physics of the changing conditions maybe the skill of the AI but not the skill of myself, haha. <laughs> I have to do a lot of practice still here. If you want to be competitive, you have to learn a lot and do a lot of laps, but I have no time to do those laps right now. I'm jumping in straight away there and I'm trying to show up a little bit what this new sim which is very promising is capable of just in this version and now we're coming back onto the pit lane there and as you can see all the rivals they have already taken their place hello guys there we come up as well. Thank you, Lollipop Man. Here we are then. Nice, nice, nice. Despite of my poor driving skill here. But I was surprised by this lake there. But now, guys, let's check a little bit the replay. Let's check the start of the race. First lap. And maybe let's go with this replay dynamics until the pit stop as you can see we are winding in here getting by on a several number of rivals very nice car very nice model should have more time to practice but uh, 
especially with those changing weather conditions. But uh, anyway, it uh, was fun nevertheless. Now I let you on your own and let's uh, hear the sound a little bit. Very nice engine sounds. They have their right characteristics. What I'm also liking very much is that the car is getting dirty while racing, while making the laps. And as you can see, the chassis is already a little bit wet now. So the rain must have been started already to come down. Curious to see the pit stop animation from the outside cam view here. And there you go with the spray. The beginning of the uh, track conditions from dry to very very wet. Here, <laughs> during these phases here, we had no grip left anymore at all. So we have to pit in now. Going very slowly. Very, very slowly. But as well, the AI was very slow here. Oh, nice helicopter cam view of our pitting. Then we come in. Watching our speed, not to get the penalty for speeding in the pit lane. And as you can see here on this <laughs> track cam view angle, we have no animated uh, pit crew yet so hopefully it will be implemented for the next couple of updates at least for the final version of the game but as you have seen as well the tires have been changed and now we are on wet weather tires wet weather compound and there you go with <laughs> going sideways immediately when going into so much water there I want just to show up the moment where we went over this pitch there that has been driven us out of the race and see the effect of the dynamic there you go wow this is a nice viewpoint indeed here never seen such a beautiful and very nice replay cam view and combination of viewpoints as well here here going a little bit too deep coming back on the track but now I think we are approaching to the final countdown here 
as uh, what the track position concerned. Apart from this, we could hold up quite nicely with those AI. So we were still in the race here, but not for long anymore, <laughs> if you, as you have seen here. Nice replay, continuing to battle hard. I didn't have the right breaking point though. At some corners, at least. Onto the back straight away again. Still fighting in a good position against the AI. Where was the final countdown for us? <laughs> this is the question. It has to come very soon. at this battle maybe now no coming up again for the next lap onto the main straight away and there I think it comes as we were battling for position with this rival, we were forced to go into this very wet track point and we lost it all. And there uh, we were completely behind all of the AI cars. So guys, this was it for today's race. I hope you have enjoyed it, I hope you have seen something new something more concerning as well the pit stop animation and uh, hope you have liked it and if you end up liking the videos please be sure to hit that like button and for the rest if you want to see more stuff like this from me then consider subscribing as well to my channel this was it guys thank you again very very much for watching and we we'll see us the next time again bye bye from ralonso ciao